Hey folks, Jarek here and welcome to Amberscape. Today I am going to hunt with Tomek in a red clay sand quarry for Jurassic fossils, hopefully iridescent rainbow ammonites. And yeah, but first we have to get to the location and hopefully it won't be uh, too muddy because yeah, it was raining a lot. Let's go. In all honesty, it wasn't too bad with the mud. There is quite a bit <laughs> because it's very wet, but yeah, it's not terrible. So let's find some fossils. Found first sedimentary rock in a short while. There was some shell imprints on the top, but it wasn't Jurassic sedimentary rock, either Silurian or Ordovician. And in this quarry, we are focusing all our efforts to get some Jurassic fossils. In this situation, Tomek got a bit less lucky than I did. He stopped moving his feet and started sinking in the clay. Having wet feet at the very start of the trip in the autumn is not ideal, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't manage to hold my laughter at that moment. First Jurassic piece of sedimentary rock and we found few calcified brachiopods. Very common, but in complete state I take them to add to my tiny fossils collection. First bigger lag was this big rock very densely packed with shells, bivalves and brachiopods. What we are looking for is more rare stuff, for example ammonites. But ammonites are quite uncommon in this location. Small ones are uncommon, bigger ones are straight up very rare. And that's what we are looking for. It's full of shells and hopefully maybe something more inside. We will check right now and smack it. We did split open this bigger rock into multiple small pieces. Inside, however, was only shells and brachiopods, as expected, but even these fossils was in terrible state, a hollow inside and was crumbling. From this whole rock only one smaller piece of contained piece of an iridescent ammonite. I did take that whole piece to prep it, but most likely it was just a piece of the shell, instead of a complete specimen. Two tiny gastropods are trapped in this rock. These two are perfect candidates to make my tiny fossil collection bigger. They will go into my backpack. Clay was super sticky. Few extra kilograms of weight on each leg, like some Goku training method. We 
have to wash it. Let's try to wash it. This orange thingy, it's gonna be small ammonite. I will prep it. When I saw this, I was a bit confused. I was convinced that this is some sort of nautiloid, except straight horned nautiloids like Orthoceras went extinct long before Jurassic period. And that was correct, because it's not in Nautiloid, it's a Belemnite. I just haven't seen one looking like this. Usually I find calcified Belemnite guards. What we have here on the other hand is Belemnite Fragmacorn. What's more interesting that this Belemnite has some sort of shell on it from the other side. We will try to prep this baby out at home. Unfortunately, weather suddenly got worse. It started raining. Conditions climbing the slippery clay hills were terrible. We didn't give up just yet. It took us over three hours of driving to get to this hunting location. This is unusual find in this quarry, it's Halicetus chain coral, from the Silurian period. It just shows how mixed sediments are in this location. If I'm honest, uh, I can't walk here, it's very slippery. I think we are going to go down and try our luck where it's not slippery, on the ground, not on the hills. Well, at least one. It's bigger than it looks. Can't get it out. Small ammonite is sticking out of this rock. I didn't risk splitting it up and took it home for preparation. There is also a gastropod sticking out from the other side. There is imprint of ammonite, the white thingy in the center. And this is the ammonite, a little bit grey. But I think I can take it out of there. So I'll take it home. Also. this
And finally, after like two more hours, we were about to give up and go home, but we found a spot with few sedimentary stones laying around, which is exactly what we needed. Still didn't get a single medium-sized ammonite from this trip. This first stone had one absolutely eroded ammonite inside. It crumbled because the insides were hollow, not filled with the sediment. Other one has some hope, but it also could be hollow inside. It will go home as it is for a preparation. Second concretion had weird imprints. Looks like a plant to me. If someone knows what it is, leave a comment please. I found weird looking egg that was laying near bigger stone. These are called nodules. I have never found a nodule in Lithuania before. Fierce concretion in my life. I have never found concretion before. This is so cool. It's raining now. We are trying to you find cover, but not, there is not much cover. Hopefully it will end soon and we will continue that end, because now I'm super stoked about that concretion, I want more. And looks like it stopped raining. Enough wasting time, time to go to hunt again. In a short while after we continued our hunt, Tomek found one more sedimentary rock, and this one turned out very special. Yep, after 5 hours of hunting we've got our first rainbow ammonite, with crazy colors, but the camera is not picking up all the colors, which is a shame. We continued to split the rock into pieces and once again it was well worth it, because inside we found one more ammonite with, with some colors but with crumbled middle. Once we finished splitting it into the smallest layers, we found the biggest heartbreaker of the trip. Once again, crumbled ammonite with hollow insides. For whatever reason, in this location we are finding more crumbled ammonites than complete ones, but this one had the best colors of the day, truly a rainbow ammonite. This is the sight I love to see, Tomek with more Jurassic stones on the horizon. Tomek is on fire, as always. Let's go smack them. In this last concretion is peaking one more belemnite pharmacon. I will prep it out, out of the stone as well, when I will be home. And this stone was the last one we found on the trip. 
In the end, this turned out not the worst hunting session. Time to go home and wash the files from the clay. I did bring quite a lot of stones back home with me and we have some great ones, rainbows all over the place. Yeah, by far best ones are the one in the no gel and other one almost complete some holes inside and with great colors. This one on the other hand is the biggest heartbreaker. This top part was missing, you can see. Yeah, so let's keep covering the ammonites. We have one more with some nice colors. They are a lot better in real life than in camera. Camera doesn't get the colors, but yeah, it's gonna probably end empty again. We'll try to uncover it in the future preparations. And we have even more uh, colors of the ammonites for the preparation and even some tiny ones like this one here most likely empty middle once again but who knows what's the rest in this we'll try to take it out we'll smash this and yeah let's move from let's move away from the ammonite because we have some gastropods tiny nice gastropods and what else uh, yep this thingy is a Fragmacon of the Bellum Knight. I have zero Fragmacons in my collection. We will also try to take it out. And the best part, it does have shell preserved. I have never seen Fragmacons with shell preserved before. So that's quite nice. And we have not one, but two Fragmacons because this other one, this one, it looks great. It also had the shell. We'll try to take it out from the other side. So we will try to to make the shell uh, stay on it. Great specimen, really cool. Other than that, <laughs> we've got some more interesting stuff, uh, unusual stuff, because this is Silurian coral. A lot older than Jurassic, like 200 million years old older, and we still found it in the same quarry. So that just shows the diversity of finds in one place. And yeah, uh, there are some other small stuff, like small uh, ammonites sticking out of the concretions like this one. We'll try to prep all of them out and yeah, this is it for the finds. I do hope you did enjoy this hunting session. It was lots of fun, quite difficult physically, but yeah, uh, it, it was worth it. We did bring some results back home. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.